trying to do my makeup really quickly. I'm headed to physical therapy and I usually don't wear any makeup going there. But I'm going to go work at a coffee shop after. So I feel like I need to look a little bit presentable since I'm essentially going to be wearing workout clothes. I feel like a little bit of put togetherness here might help. So we're just going to have a little skin forward kind of day. SPF, the one from Shiseido. The heat wave is still happening. I walked Roman at like 8 something this morning and it was boiling outside. Like I don't know when the weather is going to cool back down, but it feels absolutely terrible. Because even last night, I let him out around like 8 or 9. It was still so hot. I was like, what's going on? Popping in a little bit of blush, just for like a slight flush of color. Definitely not necessary and something I wouldn't even normally do. I think this is a really pretty shade, like with makeup, but it's so natural that it almost gives the effect of if like I was actually blushing or like getting some redness in my face. What's up, chat? Oh, goodness. Thank God it's Monday! I'm basically just rapid fire throwing everything in a bag at this point because I'm running like a little bit behind. I did mini twists for the first time in a really long time. I've been trying to do different things with my hair. I'm trying to like understand my hair right now and understand like the shedding tendencies. And I don't know if it's shedding more because I wear my hair down often and it just like tangles. So I'm like mini twists will really tell me if something abnormal is going on. But I've pretty much been doing half up, half down every single day. Headphones. It's definitely hot enough to where I don't need this. But I hate going in my physical therapy place and like, I don't know, it's not the gym. So like it feels weird to go in there in real workout stuff because most people come in in like their regular clothing. But since I'm working with my leg, like I can't wear jeans or really pants don't even make sense to wear. But like when I come in in like a matching set, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing too much and it makes me uncomfortable. So even though it's too freaking hot outside, I'm gonna be wearing this. Okay, I need to go. plans to really edit yesterday when I was at the coffee shop but things did not work out so I am left today to continuing my editing journey so I can get this video uploaded tomorrow because it is my first video back in like four weeks so it's really important for me to get this video up on time I'm gonna edit this for the next like hour or so and then I'm gonna log into my therapy appointment because it is that time of week yet again. And then we can catch up after that. I have some places that I need to go and some errands to run. So that'd be a good time for us to catch up when I'm not like nose deep in editing. Hello. 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 My makeup came out so cute today. I'm headed out into the world. Thought I would show you a quick little uh OOTD. Here we have it, kind of like a baggy skirt moment with a hint of a fashion belt. This little baby tee my mom sent to me in the mail. It says City of Angels, which is where I am. Very cute. Got Adidas and I'm gonna carry this purse. Just like that, very cute. I need to go to a candle shop, which I'll share more about that, but I need to go there. And I think I'm gonna stop by Target I'm going to a game night later and I think I want to make a dessert. We'll see if I have time to actually make it, but the thought process is there. It's like a birthday game night, so I'm like, that'd be a really fun like treat to eat, but will I have time to make it? 
stay tuned. episode of baking with Ari we have a very easy recipe the one that is so freaking good I haven't made it in a while but it's so easy that I'm like I'm not gonna mess this up I found this sopapilla cheesecake recipe years ago on Pinterest when I was in college and I used to make it all the time anytime we had like a gathering I was making this and it was so fun because I became known as the person who made these this really doesn't take long at all like this is such a basic recipe you could do this with your eyes shut especially once you get the hang of it this is what i'm going to use to put everything in let's wash our hands and get started step one you have to spray whatever baking dish you're going to use and then you take one pack of the pillsbury crescent rolls and you unroll it in the bottom of the pan as top of the bread would say like so like that you basically want to cook this first layer just to ensure it's gonna cook when you officially bake it. I'm gonna put this in the oven for like the next eight minutes and then I'm gonna make the cream cheese part. percent of the way there that's literally I cannot even express how simple this is and I feel like it's impossible to mess up unless you do that and then you can't get the thing okay there we go you roll this on top of the cream cheese mixture so basically this is how you end up looking and you pop this in the oven for another 30 minutes As soon as I put that in the oven, I was like, something, I feel like I'm missing something. And I checked the recipe really quick. I almost forgot to do the butter portion. So basically you melt some butter and then you put it on top and then you sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar and then you put it in the oven. It would have been a disaster. little PR sesh while that cooks in the oven. This is from Kiehl's. It looks like they came out with an SBF. It's just like, ooh. It's like a mirror oh. with the ring light around it. What's up, chat? But I can't get the thing fully off. Everyone say hey to Jalen. <laughs> and this is the Auto Tone Discoloration and UV Solution. It's an SBF 30 that also helps improve hyperpigmentation and stuff. Next up from Way. This is oyster theme. Shuck around and find out. <laughs> I don't think I like oysters, but this is really cute. Ooh, it's their hair oil. Oh, it's the St. Bart scent. Now I get it. I was like, this is kind of random because this isn't necessarily new for them. It's their new scent. This is adding up now. And lastly, Lancome. So there's an eye makeup remover, liquid eye blush two liquid eye blushes. I don't know if I've heard of all of these two little mini SPF 50s. I don't think I knew that they had an SPF. This is a youth activating concentrate. What's that mean? Mascara, a gloss, two mascaras, and butter glove. I'm not exactly sure what some of these are, but I like gloss. Ooh, and it's clear. 
Mm. It also smells kind of expensive. Like it smells fancy. And then I also stopped by that candle store. If you know, I used to have a candle business, but I did more so like pillar candles. So not candles that are like your classic jarred ones. So I wanted to go in store somewhere to like figure out what I was looking for. And basically I wandered around that huge warehouse of a store for a little bit. And I landed on a few different jars that I just like want to look at. This one is a clear, this one is like a cream, but it also has somewhat of a pink undertone. Not a huge fan of that, but I just wanted to get a few different ones to see what I like best. And this one is like a matte clear one. Obviously I got a big thing of wax and I got some wicks and like wick holders or like the adhesive dots for it. And then these are the wick holders. So I feel like I'm learning candles all over again. It's funny, I wanted to make this kind of candle when it first started, but it was too much work. I was like, I cannot get into that. And here I am years later, circling back to the traditional candle. ourselves a little bit of a date day we're at the museum I had a friend she posted that they're doing um, a special kind of like what is it called exhibition at this museum I think it's featuring a black artist and it's free on certain days so of course we're here at the time frame where it is free and I'm excited I'm excited to give it a look with my own eyeballs but free though I'm here for a good time not a long time you know I little outfit of the day by the way and see walking, y'all. Y'all see that? A little pop of red for fall because no it is officially around the corner. The heat wave is done. Things are looking up. How long do we have to wait for this elevator? <laughs> out of 10 we ended up going all the way through it because it was included with our admission so that's great little two for one but now who's hungry we're at this we taco are. spot let's get some food Daddy. 
taste test of Agua de Pepino. I've never had this before. It's cucumber and lime. Typically not a pairing I would make, but I'm gonna try it. It's kind of good. I'm so surprised I like that. I don't usually do like cucumber heavy things. And that's like, it's very refreshing. I can't have too much of it or I'll get in my head and be like, I actually don't like that. <laughs> That food was honestly so good and left me so tired. I want to take the fattest nap ever right now. But on the way home, I stopped by the post office because I did this little series on TikTok. Really not even a series, but I was online shopping and like browsing around at J. Crew and at Gap and I ended up ordering some stuff from each. I just got like a few things to add to my closet for like kind of like fall fashion, but things that can also be worn year round. And the main thing that I'm curious about in this order are these shorts. These were final sale. They were marked like 70% off or like something crazy. So I will save everything else for the video that I end up doing. But these shorts, I'm kind of like, I just want to know if I wasted $30 or if I didn't. They're like a pleated denim, dark denim, and they looked so good on the model online. You have to go watch those videos if you haven't already seen them on my TikTok. But she made them look so good, which made me question if they would look good on me. So let's find out. I think I could style these to be really cute. They don't look bad. I'm glad I sized down. I read some of the reviews and people were saying like they have a little bit of give to them. So get a size down from your normal, which I did do. I'm just gonna have to play around to see how I would realistically style them because they're mine now. They're final sale. Also, other update, I'm not wearing my boot right now. I got released um, yesterday in my doctor's appointment to start walking without my boot. I thought I would update you because I don't have my boot on right now and it feels so good. When I was walking yesterday for the first time, it was like the most surreal feeling. Like it felt like anti-gravity was going on in my legs somehow because I'm not used to making that motion of like walking because when I have this boot on, my foot is so protected, it almost is like not really walking. Um, so having it off and walking is kind of crazy, but I think these are cool. I think I'll be able to make make some do of these this upcoming fall fashion season. Good morning, happy Friday. Honestly, is it morning anymore? It is not, it is 12.08. I gave myself a little bit of like a slow start to the day. I wanted to share that I just started the third book in the series, um, the one by Kennedy Ryan called The Bennett. So the first one I read was When You Are Mine. This one was the second one that I somehow just read in the matter of days. I think I just wanted to like get the storyline going because like the first book is like the foundation. You see what's going on. And then the second one, they literally pick up like I think a month after the first one ended. And so the third one, I just read the first chapter because I just wanted to like get a gauge on what we're going to be like going through. So I think it's been, it's been seven months. So it's kind of like picking up right on top of each other, like the storyline is just going. So anyways, enough about books. It's time to find something where I have an idea in my mind, but it's gonna require me to wax my armpits. And I don't know if I feel like doing that right now, but let me at least show you what I'm thinking. I feel like I want to wear this tube top that I got over the summer. This one is from Oddly. It's like a buttercream yellow kind of shade. I feel like it's not picking up like that on camera, but it's a really cute yellow shade. This would just be so cute and like simple. I feel like I'm going to end up doing my makeup and then fully deciding because that's one way to really tell how you're going to feel about your outfit overall. <laughs>
isn't the outfit I had envisioned, but I do think it will work. I'm wearing the top, which I almost didn't even wear the top because it wasn't looking right with the jeans that I wanted to wear. But these blue jeans, I think will work a little bit better for something a little bit more chill. Uh, actually, <laughs> I might just carry this black bag. I was debating against it because I don't know if things like this really matter, but sometimes when I'm looking at an outfit, it does. This has silver hardware on it. And so like seeing this and then seeing the gold on the belt, I'm like, does that match? you know, match, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. This is what I'm gonna wear. It's not my best work, but it is going to have to work because I'm gonna leave pretty soon. I just put my hair up in a claw clip. I also don't know if I'm loving the hair. Actually, let me at least try something else. I think I'm just gonna do like a little half up, half down kind of moment just to get me by. This doesn't look bad, it's just, it does look better than the other hairstyles, so let me give it that. I feel like it gives me like a little bit more to work with here instead of like slicked back. So I think this will be the look. What do we think? Are we pleased? We're gonna have to be, you guys. We're gonna have to be. See you there. Oh, yeah, there's like so many on the That's very cool. Oh, my gosh. 